Hello folk, Happy New Year. I want to share with you um, Robert Murray McShane's Bible reading plan. Um, he was born on a Friday the 21st of May in 1813 and he had died at a young age um, of 29 um, on the 25th of March 1843 where he had caught um, typhus fever while doing his pastoral work. He was the son of um, Adam McShane, who was a lawyer, and Robert Murray McShane himself was educated at Edinburgh University. The first of his ministry in 1835, he became assistant at Larbert, Larbert's um, near Stirling, here in Scotland. And in 1836, he was ordained minister at St. Peter's Church in Dundee. And the people in Dundee, they were kind of a, um, it was a kind of industrial town. Even it is, even today, it's maybe not as industrial, but I remember a few years back, um, maybe 10 years back, working in some factories, um, that used to make sacks, but it's a uh, really quite a poor area, and very much um, a place where it's maybe what would you call kind of needy, where there could be um, places for food banks for people of low wage or of no money at all to help support their families, but. Um, Dundee, St Peter's Church in Dundee still has a, a program that still is called Christian Against Poverty where they do help um, kind of poor people or people who are struggling with debt where they will come and, and help them, uh, uh, counsel them how to have a program of paying, paying up their, their debt, debt money. So it is a good thing, good thing to have. And Robert Murray McShane, he knew the people, he knew their need for the Lord, and it was a great need. And it was a city that was open, open to sin, and and kind of sin was a way of life, very much it is like today. And Robert had a deep burden, deep burden. For the people of Dundee that his outreach work was daily where he was constantly meeting and witnessing to people. I heard at times that he would visit houses about 20 to 30 houses a day and it must have been very tiring work. I remember doing some outreach down in uh, Kirkmuir Hill and even visiting one two houses. It was quite a a strenuous time, but it was uh, a blessing too. Robert's Christian life is really a mirror uh, to us. His life was devoted to to personal holiness. In 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 15 and 16, but as but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Robert's time was greatly in the presence of the Lord. Though reading through reading the Bible in prayer, and it's often Robert had quoted in, in some of his um, preaching, what a man, what a man is on his knees before God, that he is and nothing more. Just like Robert, we need to be spiritually disciplined, ready to witness. We should not let the devil allow us to bring you down with past sins. Instead, we should allow God 
to work in us through the Holy Ghost to cleanse us from sin and make us holy. And as Robert Murray McShane quoted, if nothing else will do to sever me from my sins, Lord send me such sore and trying calamities as shall awake me from earthly slumbers. It must always be best to be alive to thee, whatever be the quickening instrument. So Robert Murray McShane daily reading plan is a great tool and it is a a daily reading that gives you a mixture of four different Bible books with one chapter of each of them. And this is a great plan to do on your own or as a couple or as part of your family. On the website, on our website on bornagainchristians.org on the resource tab you will find the, um, uh, the, the reading plan on there which was from Alistair Begg's um, ministry Truth For Life. Um, the Truth For Life website um, you, there is an option on the tab that says more and it can give, it gives you a, a PDF, I'll give you a PDF file which you can print off and also there's a, an email, like your name and email and you'll get a daily, daily reminder or daily um, Bible reading for you to follow. So hopefully you'll find this a blessing and hopefully speak to you soon.